Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I am going to take you pitch side again at a League 2 game. It is Crew Alexandra versus Tramia Rovers. It's New Year's Day, so Happy New Year to wherever you are in the world watching this. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I haven't really thought about um, what specifically I want to show you that is different to normal. Um, so we'll see what happens. Probably going to focus on the fact it's winter. Um, it's been quite nice and sunny driving over here. It's now clouded over. So we're almost certainly going to get rain at some point, uh, which we'll get the rain covers on and my waterproofs probably in about two minutes will go on. Um, we might also have a little bit of low sunshine at some point. So um, we'll keep that in mind. And I'll also show you, just as another stadium here in League 2, uh, how you get in, what the process is for, for photographers in terms of collecting accreditation. So as I said, first I will collect the accreditation, which is uh, over from the ticket office, which is located in the club shop here at Crew. So I've photographed here uh, once already this season, probably this will be my third or fourth time in total. I visited the stadium as a fan, an away fan with Tromia, uh, probably four to five times going back to the early or late 1990s, sorry. Um, so it's only about an hour's drive from my home as well so it's dead easy as away games go for myself so I'll walk over in a minute I'll get my waterproofs on first then get me gear walk over get my accreditation from the ticket office and then I'll show you where we get in as photographers which is usually a gate just at the far side of the stand in front of me here Okay, so this is right before kickoff. The teams are out. 
and as usual it's just a great opportunity to grab a couple of photos of the managers um, firstly with the handshake and then some close-ups as and when the tramming manager comes out to the edge of his technical area after this it's well just before actually i make my way around to the position i'll be shooting from in the first half this game was just a few days after the death of football legend Pele and so the teams observed a minute silence. I decided to take a position in the corner here because it gave me a great shot up across the pitch to get the Tramia team facing me and then that TV screen in the background with the um, tribute to Pele on which made for quite a nice photo. After that it's a usual quick run round to the shooting position so I chose to the um, left or to my left of the goal Tramia were shooting for, towards in the first half and this is because the away fans uh, of which there was about one half thousand were all sat that side of the pitch as well so if Tramia score they're thinking being or the the logic the rationale for it would be that the players would run that way to celebrate giving me a better opportunity hopefully to get a shot of those celebrations. Now I've tried to link the photos up as best as possible with the footage here um, obviously, I've taken a lot of footage out because it wasn't just boring. Me sat there um, with the camera pointed at me isn't the most entertaining thing. Bit of information about this game. And Tramia came into it off the back of two uh, successive wins. Crew, the home team, had not won for several games. In fact, their form was awful. They'd only managed a combined three shots on goal in something like the last four or five games. So three shots in total across several games. This suggested Tramia would have quite a good day and the I as a photographer would have a busy day photographing hopefully a few goals. As it happened, it was incredibly frustrating. Tramia dominated certainly the first half and much of the second. They had something like 22 shots on goal in total, only three on target throughout the game. Um, and as you've probably guessed where this is going, crew did have a shot in the first half and it did fly in and they won the game 1-0 um, but anyway we will go through the photos anyway as you can see here plenty of action for me to snap the light in the first half was pretty good uh, it's a 3 p.m kickoff so just in the middle of the afternoon and that allowed me to get some nice shots just before the um, darkness came in during the second period um, the floodlights at cruise ground are really pretty poor um, and so it was good to get kind of some good light for nearly an hour I'd say before things started to get just a little bit trickier. Into the second half then, I've thrown a couple of shots from the 400mm lens in here, just so you can see uh, a couple of those. I didn't get anything truly spectacular on that, to be honest, because most of the action was right in front of me as Tramia dominated, um, albeit pretty toothlessly. Um, what you'll also see here in a moment is as Tramia attacked, one of the real risks of being a sports photographer, as great as it is, is that from time to time you'll get either landed on um, by a player, a fan, or a footballer is going to smack you in the face and that can hurt because it comes at you with real pace and the balls are pretty hard and there's a near miss coming up for me right here yeah that would have hurt Things were starting to look pretty ominous as far as Tramia equalising as the second half drew on. Um, hence why I got pretty excited when we had a nice little brief few minutes of uh, colourful sky here. But as we get back into it, you can see um, the action photos kind of start to dry up. Tramia lost away a little bit, it all became a little bit hopeful. And my shots were limited to um, near misses, goal mark scrambles and basically the wingers running towards me was what happened for much of the game, the wingers and the full backs. The defeat at full time was so disappointing for Tramia given their dominance and given the fact they were expected to win this. It was a game they really needed to win to get back into the playoff picture, uh, which are now a little bit adrift from. And so what that meant is that full time 
there's quite good photos to be had. Uh, not nice from my perspective, but good. Uh, just showing the disappointment of the players as they all collapsed to the turf and looked uh, pretty distraught, given it's only one game, but it was a pretty bad defeat, all in all. And that's it for this vlog, really. I thought I'd just uh, put one together to start the new year off and kind of show you what I've been up to. Um, I am going to try and do videos on a weekly basis, if possible, through most of 2023. It won't always be possible, but that is certainly the aim. There should almost certainly be one um, out next week as well. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and I will see you on the next one.